guys, welcome to the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading this week. Right now, I'm going to do a mirror reading. As we know that the full moon is in Gemini, we are connecting the masculine and feminine energies. And we have, there's a lot going on. Um, the moon sign readings will be out, and then we're going to have our winter solstice reading. Ooh. Let's just see where the feminine is starting off. You know we're really detoxifying. I've even bought this year non-alcoholic wine to serve. Because that's what I feel called to do. I've had this wine for a bit just sitting here. And you know, it's just still if people want to have a drink. But we're not going to be drinking alcohol. That's a choice that's been made. And we're all healing and detoxifying for something different. In my life right now, it's to continue with my addiction work as well as my solar plexus, sacral chakra healing. And it's all to do with reconnecting to the root because we're reconnecting to the earth star. And it's recalibrating the heart. It's recalibrating our truths. We're getting third eye activations and blowing through to the crown and the soul star chakra. Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And I really feel like I don't usually read reversals unless I'm called to. And I feel called to right now. Divine Feminist in is not seeing the Ten of Cups. I feel like she's feeling a little bit lost in transformation right now. But this is divinely, this is divinely guided. This is the divine connect creating a deeper connection with spirit so it's like i see the fog and divine feminine's like oh wow i know i'm transforming what's really going down here wow this has been dark this has been light this has been a roller coaster ride so many things have happened to me through this expansion through this experience but it's like she can see she can see source she can see spirit she can see her spirit herself and it's all about transformation right now. And please remember, guys, when you're joining me here, this is the feminine energy and the masculine energy and what you're resonating with. And we know that we're becoming whole. We're working with both energies. And now it's about seeing the Ten of Cups. But it's not about seeing it through the way that we think we're seeing it. It's through growth and it's through connection to life. The energy of the Taurus and the alchemy of lead to gold and that's what's happening here and this is this is a whole new connection this is new earth this is connection to our starseed roots and homes and i can feel the golden glow of this energy in this ten of cups it's beautiful oh. And the wheel and I asked before I started and called in the divine energies and well, I called in the divine energies and then before I started I asked what was happening between the masculine and feminine and I was shown for the masculine it's the two of cups the energy right now that's being created with is the two of cups and for the feminine it's the ten of swords and the ace of pentacles and it's an ending in order to Ha be gifted be gifted a new path walking through the gates of something that has been desired and now the wheel is turning because something is shifted here something has really been being created and it's the peace the moon has been connecting and create and helping us to create peace And this is the energy of the moon and the sun coming together. The sun's presence is within this wheel. And the serpent is eating its own tail. But we know the serpent is no longer eating its own tail. We've connected to our divine blueprints. Our, the cosmos, our astrology, our rhythms, our, our knowledge. And it's even knowledge of the seasons. This is even knowledge of the universal flow and it's creating this beautiful 
two of swords explosive energy that's really like it's very healing peace but it's also explosive i can feel it at the same time and we're really connecting to the moon and this is connected to that annular solar eclipse in capricorn because for the masculine and the feminine they showed me the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles energy and that's where they're they're meeting they're coming together And this is what's happening. The feminine continues to work with her three of pentacle pals, her three, and I really feel like a lot of this is like our gifts, the people and their soul tribe members, but our gifts and what we're connecting to from within to without. And I love how she's painting here. She's painting these beautiful flowers. And really this is symbolism for new patterns, sacred geometry. And here's the fool and she's connected. She's connected to the zodiac. She's connected to knowledge, connection to divine blueprint, information, path, ancients, ancestors. And it's all thanks to the moon and it's connected to that new moon in Capricorn. But right now what we're doing all has to do with this Gemini, this lovely Gemini energy that's really, really helping us out. Because with the Queen of Pentacles, they showed me the devil. You know, that's what I was... I want to get two more cards. We got three. get two more cards oh I've messed this up how did the six of cards end up six of cards six of cups end up in here reversed and along with the queen of pentacles card they have shown me the devil let's get two more cards here There's the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the Hangman. And that's, this is the card that they showed me for Divine Feminine. There's an ending to have a new beginning. The wheel turns. We are not the serpent that eats its own tail. We transform with our knowledge and our mission work, our purpose, what we came here to do. And we're walked through these gates and we're gifted. And it, what, it, what we're gifted is it's connected to the hanged man and this transformation within the cup. It all has to do with the serpent right now. And I, this card I'm being called to read as reversed. We, we're, there's still a part of this transformation. We have to surrender to it. We have to... It, if we really want to cultivate this space, we need to surrender to the transformation at hand and allow what needs to go now to go. Because through these doors, it's the Knight of Cups. It's love. Love is being offered with the masculine energy. And this is a man that's on a spiritual quest, a, qu a quest to create and connect with love. You know, that's connected to gifts. That's connected to the nurturing energy, the healer, the creation of holistic health, what we came here to do. And that masculine is on his way with this cup, a runneth over. You know, because he's reflected love from within to without, and now he's ready to offer. And it has to do with the nine of pentacles. And there it is. Ooh. And you know what? I was really feeling justice with those gates, with this with this ace of pentacles and there's justice because we're balancing our karmic scales so here we are we know we're expanding with the bird's eye view and this is the phoenix rising from the ashes energy in this nine of pentacles we have transformed we have allowed transformation from the hanged man we've seen what we've needed to see and we've allowed expansion and here comes together 
the masculine and feminine, and there's the two dolphins that are within the two of cups that the masculine is creating with. And the two dolphins, they're right there, and they've done their job. They've done their job here with creation, with helping the masculine and feminine come together and creating with the dolphin energy to learn how to become into alignment with one another. And we know, I can feel the sun's energy within here, the moon and our angels, source energy. This is divine. This is so divine. And it has everything to do with justice, the balancing of our karmic scales. And now the moon arrow is connected to the sword. And I want you guys to see that. From the moon arrow that we've been connecting with, with the Sagittarius energy... Look at that. It's a sword. And we have clarity. And we are connected. Balance. We're following our synchronicities. We're following our signs. And we are following our heart. Look at I love that. There's the heart and the white feather. This is lit. We're lit. And the ace of cups. And there's the cup that I runneth over. And there's the connection right, the, right there. And we have spirit, spirit's presence. And this is what was happening in this seven. It's right in front of my face. This is what was happening in the seven of cups. This is why we needed to vastly, greatly connect to spirit, our higher self and our path and what we needed to see. Mm. Beautiful. I'm just going to straighten up these cards, guys, and we're going to see what's happening with the masculine all right guys so i've cleaned everything up but as i was cleaning everything up we're not going to do a mirror reading i was told no i'm going to listen to what i've been told and we're going to keep things separate so this is what the feminine is doing right now and let's just get an activation and a message and then um if you'd like to join me at the divine masculine i'll see you there this has never happened to me before. But yeah, that's what expanding and growing is all about. Experiencing new things. And I always follow my intuition because that's what's led me here. And that's what's allowed me a deeper connection with Source. And myself. Alright, what's being activated here? What's being activated There it is, connection. Something is coming together between the masculine and feminine, and it's chakra flow and healing. This is create this is connected to the Kundalini and the Caduceus. And this is a special shape. You never take your pen off the paper when you're drawing this. And it's connected to our victory and our connections of what's being burned away within the collective energy as well as created within the collective energy. And it's connected to the number four and the stability of the light. This, this energy that's being created within this sacred shape, it's, it's going to allow the blossoming and connection and it's really the expansion happens within the solar plexus when we understand where our personal power comes from and it comes from our authentic tune our stability of the light and our healing and when we can allow change and allow transformation and this is really mastering oneself cups the eight of cups is connected to our six and our growth and our connection it's connected to our success we're creating equality 
through the dark, through our emotions, through what we've experienced that made us feel in, unequal. We didn't feel equal, but we experienced this in order to create patterns of success and connection. And this, these two energies are connected. What we're creating within the void is it's connected. We're, we created harmony within here. That's what these symbols are showing. These symbols are showing that we have created harmony and we're connected to the planets and the earth. Because this card is connected to the moon in Taurus. And we know we just had the moon in Taurus. And that now the, the full moon in Taurus. And now the full moon is in Gemini. And that's the connection, how we're connecting the energies and what we're creating with here. And we're really connecting the heavens to the earth. We're really closing in the gaps here. This is beautiful. Let's just get our message. Mm. Sweet paradox of empowering grace. And the mind says no, but the heart leaps with joy. We are ripe for a transmission of empowering grace. The sweet paradox is that the more impossible the situation appears to be the more we are supported through grace and our divine success manifests swift and complete let the faith of the heart overcome the doubt allow your mind to be filled with wonder at the limited power of the divine and you shall bear witness to sacred manifestation when there is something within your heart that you know you are on this planet to accomplish. You shall be given equal grace, power, talent, and the ability to succeed in that mission. This is the divine promise, promise and sacred plan for you. If a miracle is required for success, then one shall be given. Pray with courage and confidence for your rightful divine inheritance and allow your bold heart and loving soul to believe in your beautiful hope-filled destiny and that's what we're doing we're believing in our our hearts we've put them in the scales we put them there because we believe we're believing in love we have to believe that the planets are helping us the divine is helping us you know we shift we shift our beliefs, which allows our universes to shift because we are creating our Ten of Cups and expanding with our Ten of Pentacles. And we are living our best lives around here. Spiritual Guidance. The Sky Jewel of the Andes brings you Hummingbird, who bears the soul medicine of spiritual grace. The evolution to conquer any obstacle and the extraordinary power of the heart the concept of spiritual grace can be a challenging one to the mind. We often don't realize just how much we've been conditioned to subconsciously demand that progress in our lives must be difficult, even while list at a conscious level, the struggle we wish could be easier. We want help. We want to believe that we are unworthy or have to earn our success completely off the back of our own efforts. Willis the Divine wants us to engage and participate in the fulfillment of our destiny. If we do not surrender our arrogance and learn how to, sur how to surrender spiritually, we will never fulfill our potential. The hummingbird brings you medicine. You have a high spiritual destiny, one that is going to triumph against apparently insurmountable odds stacked against you. They have the highest metabolic rate of any animal on earth and their hearts are capable of beating at over a thousand beats per minute. These remarkable little creatures have an exceptional high need for oxygen. Yet some of these species have evolved to thrive in the low oxygen, high altitude environment of the Andes Mountains, flying over 15,000 feet above sea level in truly, well, that kind of air, right? It's a rare kind of air because there's hardly any air up there. This has oxygen. This has become possible because of a tiny genetic mutation in how oxygen is metabolized in the blood. This 
subtle inner evolution opened up the power of some hummingbirds to thrive quite literally in higher worlds. Their medicine empowers the soul for success in situations that would seem the most unlikely. This medicine brings a subtle adjustment within the blood or, or feminine life force and how it receives and processes the enlivening presence of spirit. This in turn leads to extraordinary and heightened abilities. Trust in the incredible possibilities that are birthed through the union of the sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies within you. And we're doing it. We're birthing them. Connection of the two tetrahedrons. And this is why they said this reading's got to be separate because this is a little long over here. There is a healing process that we can do. We can place our heart, our hand on our heart. I was going to say place our heart on our hand and say aloud. I call upon the sacred testimony of all perfected ones who have laid down their blood for the very perfect purpose for which I have been born. I bear witnesses to their sacred testimony of love in the spiritual realms. As they call out for the cleansing of my bloodline, no impediment can stand against my divine fulfillment. Allow your heart to feel relaxed and peaceful. Without having to make logical sense, Allow yourself to speak from the heart now. I ask for divine forgiveness for my own transgressions and for the transgressions within my ancestral line. From the beginning of time, I open my heart with genuine remorse for all violations against love that I and my ancestors have ever made. Relax as you connect with your heart and then contribute by saying, Pure sacrificial blood of the sacred heart has already been shed for our souls the spiritual blood of the unconditional love beating in the living sacred heart washes through my own heart and bloodline now back to the beginning of time now we've invoked an energetic release here guys and after releasing through the intersection of the divine blood testimony from the purest sacred heart. All impediments have been answered. Grace flows and divine love manifests. So be it. We ask for love. We ask for forgiveness. We ask for healing. We ask for new energy for creation, for connection, for equality for peace, for tolerance, for a better tomorrow, for a better today, right now. Woo, I love it, guys. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I will see you at the Divine Masculine Reading if you choose to join me there. Much love and healing vibes sent your way. Take care.